What? A bill is passed right here into the Senate. This bill is just recently passed and Senate bill is passed increases approved. What it means for you as a social security beneficiary? We have got all the important details right here in this video. I'm so much excited to share all the important details regarding the benefit increases, the cost of living adjustment increases. If you are social security beneficiaries, then do check out this right over here on congress.gov. This bill is passed into the Senate. As for the recent update, now this bill is straight up heading towards the President Biden desk for signing it into the law. It will probably happen on Memorial Day which is fitting to be the best time for such kind of an event. Check this out, recent update, the cost of living adjustment benefit in 2024 which likely result in an increase in payments headed to President Joe Biden's desk for signature following with an agreement by House. Very recent news as of 24th of the May. And guys, talking about the second big news for social security recipients representative larson introduced social security 2100 act once again which aims to provide all across the board benefit increases for all social security recipients to fix insolvency issues raise the annual cost of living adjustment and make changes to the income tax cap we have got all the important details regarding this bill as well today in this video i have got some exciting news to share with you regarding your social security benefits a bill has been recently passed into the house and now it is heading to the president biden desk for signing in and this bill guarantees the adjustment the cost of living adjustment increases to ensure that veterans pensions and disability payments will keep pace with the increase in social security federal disability ssdi payments which means more cost of living adjustment for social security beneficiaries today i'll be providing you all the important details the latest developments regarding this bill but before we deep down to all the details guys make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe and let's jump right into it all right guys now for those individuals individuals who rely on social security including SSI, SSDI, VA, survivors benefits, retirement benefits, veterans assistance, VA benefits. In a recent press release, Representative Larson has reintroduced a new bill which is aimed to providing social security increases and addressing insolvency issues. This bill not only focuses on helping those individuals through the COLA increases but also taking into account the consumer price index so that will ultimately provide better cost of living adjustment in your monthly social security checks and also there are these important factors these important points right over here which they are going to implement they are going to fix the existing insolvency concerns of social security which is a great news for anybody that depends on social security benefits all right guys now talking about the specifics of the bill the newly introduced bill known as social security 2100 act this act will bring significant increases for those on social security i will provide you the precise details and how they will impact you as a recipient and i'll also discuss all the important points that they are going to implement but first let me focus on the cost of living adjustment benefits for the 2024 how you'll be getting more cost of living adjustment with this important legislation which has passed in the senate now this legislation aims to provide with the cost of living adjustment onto their benefits next year the agreement has been reached by congress let me show you on congress.gov so right here on congress.gov it's the veterans act of 2023 now this agreement reached by the congress ensured that veterans pensions and disability payments will keep pace with the increase in social security supplemental security federal disability ssdi ssi payments while the exact amount of this increase is yet to be determined speaking of the current status of this bill this bill is currently passed into the senate on 30th of the march 2023 it's also known as veteran compensation cost of living adjustment act of 2023 or veterans school act of 2023 talking about the bill this bill requires department of veteran affairs to increase the amounts payable to wartime disability compensation additional compensation for dependents clothing allowance for certain disabled veterans and dependency and indemnity compensation for surviving spouses and children specifically the va must increase the amount by the same percentage as the cost of living adjustment in the benefits for social security recipients that is if Effective on December 1st of the 2023. Speaking of the increases, cost of living adjustment, they are usually determined based on the consumer price index CPI figure, which is currently based in the percentage increase in the consumer price index.
index for urban wage earners and clerical workers, which is CPIW. Now, this increase typically starts at the fiscal year, which is around October. However, guys, Senior Citizen League, the National Advocacy Group, the Senior Advocacy Group is currently projecting an increase of around 3.1%. And remember guys, this is estimated cost of living adjustment for the next year 2024. However, in some of the years we have been seeing significantly smaller cost of living adjustment increases. There have been times, so in the year 2010, 2009, 2015, according to the Social Security Administration, we have received 0% cost of living adjustment. And that's why the cost of living adjustment that you have received in the year 2023 is 8.7%, which is the highest cost of living adjustment in last 41 years now this legislation was approved by house without any objection on tuesday after the senate passed it on unanimous consent on march 30. sponsors of the bill the veterans compensation cost of living adjustment act of 2023 said wednesday that legislation is needed to give disabled veterans and survivors peace of mind regarding their finances they have acknowledged that our veterans put their lives onto the line to defend our freedoms and they deserve the certainty when it comes down to providing for their families talking about the latest updates the white house has not announced when biden plans to perform the pro forma task of signing the bill now talking about when they are going to sign the bill when president biden probably will be able to sign the bill this has just came right before the announcement of the Memorial Day weekend. So it definitely adds extra layer of significance to its impact. While we don't have any official announcement when President Biden plans to sign the bill, my guess is that it will probably happen on Memorial Day, which is fitting to be the best time for such kind of an event. Now guys, moving on to the Social Security Reform 2023, Representative Larson has unveiled Revised Social Security 2100 Act. This one aligns with President Biden's vision for social security reform and this act addresses multiple aspects which aims to expand and protect the social security from cuts it promotes all across the board benefit increases they are proposing 2% increases in the benefits for current and new beneficiaries. They are also revising the cost of living adjustment formula. So instead of utilizing CPIW, they'll be going to utilize CPIE, which is better accommodated for spending habits of elderly people. In turn, it will provide better cost of living adjustment. Also, they are making changes for the income tax cap and all these changes have potential to provide substantial help to social security recipients. Representative last says that the bill emphasizes Democrats and their focus not only on protecting and preserving the social security and the beneficiaries but also they are expanding on to the benefits. Their bill ensures that all across the board benefit increases for all the beneficiaries, all the social security beneficiaries, not a specific group of people and they are proposing average 2% benefit increases for cost of living adjustment. Also they are proposing to change the COLA adjustment mechanism utilizing new formula so instead of utilizing cpiw they are utilizing what called cpie formula which is better adapted for seniors also they are aiming to protect low-income workers also they got repulsion of the windfall elimination provision that is wep and government pension offset gpo these provisions currently reduce social security benefits for many public servants so this bill tackles the issues like wep and gpo improving the cost of living adjustment and cutting taxes for more than 23 million social security beneficiaries. It also aims to extend the solvency of the social security by making up more than half of the shortfall in social security trust fund and extending the date at which benefit would be cut by 20% by nine more years from 2035 to 2044. Representative Larson highlights that this bill not only essential for well-being of social security recipient, currently the bill is awaiting the President Biden's signature and proposed social Social Security 2100 Act brings hope for potential improvements for disabled veterans, surviving spouses, children, and all the Social Security recipients, including Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA. They aim to provide stability expand the benefits and ensure that no one retires into poverty. This is crucial step towards protecting and strengthening the social security reform. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe.